be grilling, but instead of a juicy burger, how about something that might be just as delicious, maybe even better and better for you? Dr. Richter, Richard Collins, our cooking cardiologist, back with us from South Denver Cardiology Associates. Always good to see you. Always great here. You know, Tom, we're going to do a twist on the traditional burger. You know, there, you can buy a burger at every corner. Right. So this is going to be an Asian-style tuna burger, and if you aren't even a fish lover, you will love this burger. Well, how do we go about making it? Because I see you have a nice tuna filet there, right? Okay, nice tuna. You want to use an IE tuna. Now, it won't fit the bun, so what you want to do is just take a little cookie cutter right. and just cut it down, and so you want a nice round little cut a here. A hockey puck. Yeah. Then you save that tuna for later. Sure. Okay. Then you want to brush on a little olive oil. Okay. Both sides. Now, here's the trick. I'm going to show you over here on the grill. You've got to have one of these stones. Because otherwise it will stick and come apart a bit? It'll stick on the grill. You'll have half of your fish on the grill and the okay. grill grate. So leave it on there. Now, here's the deal. Sear it. A lot of people say, oh, I want it well done. Just medium, pink in the center, perfectly fine. So it's maybe if you have a hot, uh, a hot grill, it's one minute, one minute? Almost like two, three minutes, depending okay. upon how you like to do it. Okay, so we'll put the lid down. We'll go with the magic of TV. All right, now. We've got some sauce here, and this is really what makes this whole thing right. pop. So I have a quarter cup of mayo. Mayo? I didn't think mayo was heart healthy. It is. This is a reduced fat, and it's made with olive oil, by okay. the way. A little reduced sodium soy sauce. I have here a little sesame oil, about a teaspoon. Right. And then I have a tablespoon of sesame, and we just mix this up, and okay. that is the sauce. That was easy. Easy to do. Okay, you make this ahead of time. Now, to assemble this little guy, right. real simple. What you want to do is you got little slider buns, and on the bottom I've got a little, just a kind of a nice grilled onion. A little grilled red onion. I have some pickled ginger right over here. Nice then, Asian flavors. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then I have water chestnuts. Very good for you, by the way. They have some antibiotic, uh, antibiotic properties. Not a lot of flavor, but texture, right? Texture. You want crunch. Right. And instead of lettuce, I have bok choy. Bok choy. Bok choy. We'll just put that on the top. And then we will just put in our little bit of our uh, sauce right on the bun. And we are ready to go. And this is just fabulous. That looks marvelous. Well, we're going to get a chance to taste test this in a minute. Obviously, as always, we like to put the recipe on the website, the daybreak section at kwgn.com. Dr. Collins, thanks oh, as always. Have a nice fourth. Tom. You too. Have a great fourth of July. And uh, there's something for you guys to try. And uh, Heather, you're going to get to try this in just a minute. I'm bringing this in. I can't wait. I am excited. That looks delicious. Thanks, Tom. Good. Yep. Now, you're a vegetarian, Chris. So does that mean you don't do the tuna or you, no, do you I do don't. fish? I okay. don't do nothing with eyeballs the or eyeballs. a mother. Okay. okay, that's my okay. rule. So I, right. I think the bok choy is know, fair the, game. The chestnut, the water chestnuts yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you something equally delicious. New movies.